A common beginner's question is, what is the best diet? It makes perfect sense. If you're going to start a diet, of course you want to know what the best one is, right? But there is no best diet for everyone. No beginner needs to focus on what the perfect diet is. The perfect diet is this shiny beacon of hope that doesn't exist. The idea of a perfect diet can fuck right off. Imagine you're young and you need to start earning money for the first time. You don't refuse to work until you find out what the perfect job is. And fitness can be a little bit like that. People are so focused on finding the best of something, they forget to just keep moving forward. So if you're a beginner and you have no idea where to start, I'm gonna kick things off with some basic fundamentals. Number one, consume fewer calories than you burn. This is the primary driver of long-term weight loss. It is an unavoidable truth. All diets that succeed in creating long-term weight loss do so via calorie control. Number two, consume enough protein. A higher protein intake within the amount of calories you're consuming can help promote fat loss, help retain lean body mass, and help promote satiety, i.e. feelings of fullness. Number three, prioritize minimally processed foods. If the majority of your diet revolves around unprocessed whole foods, the chances are it's going to be more nutritious and more satiating than the average diet. Irrespective of your dietary approach, prioritizing nutritious food is always a sensible idea. Number four, exercise. It doesn't have to be weight training, it doesn't have to be the treadmill, it doesn't even have to be in the gym. Just be more active. Pick any form of exercise that you enjoy and just start doing it or doing more of it. Walk your dog, play with your kids, have more sex, whatever. If you're inactive, something is always likely to be better than nothing. So just do something. Number five, be consistent and patient. It's common for people to follow extreme diets that they can only adhere to for a few weeks. But weight and health management are ongoing journeys. They're not exams with a firm end date. Adopt some good behaviours and be consistent with them. Remember, good behaviours that you can stick to are always going to provide better results than extreme behaviours that you can't. All the other information that people bombard you with, how many meals a day you have to eat, whether you need to train fasted or not, whether you need to be low carb or low fat, whether there are foods you need to eat at certain times of the day, etc, etc, etc. Most of this is unnecessarily confusing and will contribute, at best, a tiny fraction of your results. Start with the basics, get consistent with them, and just keep moving forward.